If you are using Access Mobile application and if you want to know how to download statement in this particular app, then this video is for you. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. First, you need to open Access Mobile application and then complete the login process. Once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. You can check out your uh, current balance over here at the top. You have credit card option if you have added it. If you go down, you can check out your recent transaction. Now, uh, there are two ways by which you can go to transaction page or the statement page. One is on the home page itself. When you go to transaction, you have an option of view all over here. If you select that, we are on the transaction page over here. You can check out your statement. You can check out all your recent transaction and uh, further details. I'll share you with a minute. If you go back uh, on the home page once again, let's take a look at the second way. All you need to do is uh, either you can select view all option over here or else you can select account option over here at the top. And after that, you can see once again, we are on the recent transaction page. Now over here at the bottom, you get two options. One is view statement. Another one is email statement. Now, if you just want to check out your statement, you can select view statement option over here. And then at the top again, you can check out your account number, current balance. Uh, you can check the transaction type. So if you want to, uh, you know, only see the details for debit, then you can select debit. You can uncheck this credit option. If you want to uh, see for credit, you can select this credit option and then you can check it, uh, check out for the credit option. If you want to check out for both, make sure you tick debit and credit option. After that, uh, we have second option, which is search by duration. So if you want statement for last month or for last 180 days, after that, uh, the next option is search by duration. So if you want statement for last month, you can select that. If you want for 180 days, last 180 days, you can select that and then you can select view statement. Now, if you want to select a particular date range, you have that option as well. You can customize the date over here and you can check the statement. So let's say if I want to check for last 180 days, I'm going to select that and I'm going to select view statement. After that, it will show the statement for last 180 days, right? So this is the statement. So if you want to go on next page, you have next page option over here as well. Now over here, there is no option to download the statement. In order to download it, you once again need to go on the transaction page. And over here, you need to select email statement. After that, uh, the basic uh, details will be same. Over here, you have an option of duration. So you can select last month, last three months, last six months and last financial year. So if you want a statement for last financial year, you can select that or any option from this. Also, customization uh, of dates are available here. You can select the start date over here. You can select the end date and then you can get your statement via email or else you can download the statement. After that, it will show you your email ID. So the email ID which you have registered in application, it will show that particular email ID. You are going to receive that statement on this particular email ID. If you want to change the email ID, you can select this box and then you can, you know, to update your email ID, you can click here, right? But it will take time to update your email ID. And once it is done, then you will be able to download or view the statement, right? Now, Let's say I have selected last financial year over here. I want statement for last financial year. If you want an email, select email statement. If you want to download the statement in your mobile, you can select download statement. So if I select download statement, you can see downloading is in process. And once it is done, it will show you download successful. So you can check out your notification panel. And over here, you can see account statement has been downloaded. So you can select that. You can select in which format you want to open it. I'm going to select this. And now you can see I'm able to check out the statement for last financial year. So this is how simple it is to download statement in Access Mobile application. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.